another one of uh, Chin Luan's uh, questions, which I'll put in the description below. Um, he states that the Wing Chun wooden dummy uh, used for um, the targets, and absolutely. The wooden dummy is a great training device for many different reasons. Um, first of all, the simulation of the, um, the man throwing an attack in uh, five different locations, uh, excuse me, four different locations. Uh, the um, application, though, for Kyusho is just brilliant. Uh, the reason is um, when you, you strike it, say, with your, your knuckles, you're conditioning your knuckles for the hard shock against the skull, a rib, uh, a hip bone, uh, a thigh bone, whatever you're uh, punching into, so you get that depth of penetration and develop the calluses on those knuckles, too, reach past the, um, the surrounding tissues of muscle, ligament, bone, whatever the case may be, to either pinch nerve or to um, crush the arteries. Um, the, also the training, the grabbing, uh, when you're doing it with the iron uh, claw from the Bubishi, you're going to be getting into the, um, the applications for seizing those veins and nerves and uh, again, causing cessation of life. So, yes, the wooden dummy is a very prominent uh, martial art tool for the Wing Chun system. And it is better than the heavy bags, uh, as um, uh, Chen Luan mentioned. Also, the heavy bags uh, develop the, the, the full body muscular power. But Kyushu does not rely on power. It relies on a transfer of energy and a shock to the internal systems of the body, be it um, nerve, blood, organ, uh, senses, uh, lymphatic system, you name it, you can attack it, okay? These are the inner systems. Now, you need an energy transference and a deep penetration, and that's why you work on the wood. The wood gives you the simulated effect of the, the, the bone, as I just uh, mentioned, but you're learning a different transfer of power. If you throw a, a full power punch into that wood, something's going to break and it's probably not the wood, okay? It's probably going to be in your small hand bones, it'll be in your wrist bone compressions of all those minute little bones that are in your wrist, they'll comprise the wrist, it could shatter your, your forearm uh, bones. So there's a lot of different uh, injuries that could occur, even striking it as a blocking action or what um, is typically known as a blocking action. Okay, the wooden dummy gives you that, that feel that, that uh, transfer, okay, I can hit in nice and hard with a quick transfer of energy via the 6G hands, but I can't power it in with my arm. So that's the type of um, the skill that the wooden dummy training is training you. Now in the background, you see me working a wooden dummy form. Um, I, I, this was many years ago, back in the 1990s that I did this filming, but it's the only one I have. I never really filmed myself doing um, the wooden dummy form. I did that for one of my students, and then I just made it public uh, a little while back uh, on YouTube here, so you can find the, the full version uh, with sound too. There's no, the only sound is the wood clacking around and some music in the background that I was listening to at the time. But excellent training device. Um, I've owned one for th over three decades, so uh, it's my go-to device if I feel like punching something. I'm not gonna punch uh, a makawara so much. Now, a makawara has the same qualities or could have the same qualities. If you snapped into it with those torquing hands and using the six G hands, and I've struck a makawara with um, the G hands, and uh, you know, you sit in front of it and you can just like go through all the different hands. Even the claw, you could grab the top of the makawara, depending on its construction naturally, and use that iron claw, iron palm, iron sword, iron bone, uh, blood pool hand, even the single blade of grass, again, depending on the, uh, the structure, uh, the Makarawara build. And you can develop that same intent. The benefit of the wooden dummy over the Makarawara 
okay, was the, um, the 180 degrees that you transversed to get in some body shifting and some other different skills uh, within the Wing Chun style or a martial style uh, because they're all about the same thing anyway. Now the Makawara, if it's struck as a full power punch, like some people will hit it and then lag on to that uh, Makawara for a long period of time, that's not that energetic energetic transfer. You want to pop that, okay? And that's how the Kyusho works. And that's why a lot of um, people uh, don't get the Kyusho to work for them because they use that traditional karate power uh, to get in there. They're not enacting the, uh, the Jihan transfer, the spiraling energy, the um, circular energy rather than the linear power-based uh, application of power. So yes, the Wing Chun Dummy is an excellent tool for um, doing the Kyusho, the Mak, uh, the Msu, whatever you want to call it, even the Chin Na because you can grab the, um, the extensions on the, uh, the, the, the Jun uh, very well and develop the, the strength of the fingertips as well. So it's almost like doing um, Yiri Jars where you're, you're holding them up with the claws but this time you could actually pull your body weight in using um, the clawing actions on the Mook Jun. So um, again, yes, uh, great question. And I think you have one more that I'm going to address. I'm going to go back and look through the, um, the YouTube comments, see your last question, and I'll be right back with another answer.